Hello everybody, Izumi here, and let's do Walpurgis S4. First, I'm using Gluttony Scion Filzius. Next is going to be Demolitia. Third is Fairy Senia. Fourth is Apprentice Lipka. And last but not least is going to be Ultima. Alright, so here we go. Uh, this one is a pain. Honestly, it's not that much different from S3. It's just you are kind of incentivized to use airborne enemies because grounded enemies will get hit with the skill gauge down some slow exhaust you know they get cc'd so my whole team is airborne um Filzius, the reflect thing he does does work um not to the degree that sifts cheese works so you can still kind of use that for some damage um demolition is just good all around for this um, Senia with her passives makes her a pretty good choice. She does bonus. I think it's beast and Aesir damage. So right there you just saw the reflect from Filzius took out a good chunk of her HP bar. Um, Lipka is good for the multi-hit because on the second and third HP bar there is a barrier that's like 15 hits or three turns something like that so that's also why my ultima is just loaded down with multi-hit weapons so that's like you have to get rid of that barrier or you do zero damage and it comes from her auto skill so even crushing the crystals really won't help so Probably the same as S3. Don't want to use Aesir, Elf, and Yotun. They're going to get confused. And the crystals on this one, they the Magic Row of Crystals, which do Earth Wound for two turns to all heroes on the Connect. Um, a Barrier to Self for three turns, and Cover for Walpurgis for three turns. And they do cover on the first and the third bar. So the force crystals, which are the range row ones, are the they generate the high and low leaf field. So bring your leaf rings; you're gonna need them. And they do skill gauge down to the front enemy. And then the worst part is they restore HP to Walpurgis on the second and third HP bar. So you really need to get rid of these crystals. And a lot of the way that I'm doing it is kind of RNG dependent. So say if I can kind of force the barrier to be broken by using the limit burst or with Lipka's skill. But... You can't, even though I have Ultima loaded down with guns, it doesn't always work. So, you kind of have to force it sometimes if it looks like you're going to time out. Um, I really needed in Ines or Aldra, but I didn't get either one. <clears throat> but, they are, those two are the obvious best choices for this. Um... You can use Sorticia if you need a healer. Miku Boda works pretty good. Um, Lindworm. Dragon Girl Newt. Um, I tried Urza, but she died for me. And my Shining Moon Kaguya isn't maxed out yet, so I'm not using her for anything. Um, that's pretty much about it. I wish there was an easy cheese that you could do like with S3, but it's a little harder. For me, this was one of the harder S4s just because of the character lineup that I have. I had to really work at my gear a lot. The easiest one for me was Ragnarok. I'm 
I think the only two that I have left to finish now are going to be um, Utgard and uh, Ultima. I'm missing like three Ultima runes so, of the big ones. So that's going to be it for this one. Let's see what the damage is going to be. I'm going to think it's going to be, yep, usually is Demolisha. Two big runes, good, good. And that's it. Thank you for watching.